TNG, the next generation, a genealogy application. This video is brought to you by the Alberta Family History Society through the website feature familygenes.ca. Creating a GEDCOM file for importing into your TNG. Just what is a GEDCOM file? GEDCOM is an acronym for Genealogical Data Communication. It is a file that comes from your family tree software, whether that be Family Tree Maker, Legacy, The Master Genealogist, PAF, or otherwise. This file format was designed very early on so that various software applications would be able to interchange your family information between them. The GEDCOM file is what we call a flat file format, and it contains the information on your family, births, marriages, deaths, and other such events. It has information on your ancestors, so that parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and going the other way, siblings, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and the relationships between them are all captured, defining the family units. This is the computer method of moving information between family history applications, including TNG. We are now going to show you how to get your family information into a GEDCOM file and then into TNG and we'll use my own personal family tree maker for an example. Before we start, there are a couple of questions to ask. First, do you already have a GEDCOM file ready to use? If yes, then go directly to video number 5 and import it into TNG. If you don't have a GEDCOM file ready, do you want to create one? Or do you want to enter all the information into TNG manually? right from scratch. If you do want to use GEDCOM, then continue watching. This is my family tree maker. You'll notice my family here. You'll also notice my name is in the center, in blue, Albert James Benedict. I'm going to ex export all of this information out of family tree maker and move it into the next generation. First thing you do is you go up to the upper left under file and now select export brings you a pop-up window from here you can export the entire file or selected individuals I can export my entire file I want all my information moved over to TNG next thing you select is the format of file going out we will select GEDCOM or our file format GEDCOM 5.5 then you have some check boxes to select first one is whether to privatize living people. I can leave that unchecked because I want all the information going across. I'll sort out the privatization at the other end at TNG. I will include all private facts and I will include private notes as well. So click on OK. From here you get a pop-up box that allows you to direct where you want your GEDCOM file to reside. The file name is on the bottom. You can put it in there. It's going to arrive as a file name Weber 2013-0926, which is the date, and it is as a GEDCOM file. Now click on save and the next video will show you how to work with the file.